What's up, everybody? This is Murdy 3 k and today I'm bringing you an update. Now, when I present a product to you guys, and uh, my first impressions, the product's rocking, and I'm telling you about it, it's only fair, and it's only it's my responsibility to tell you guys when one of those products starts to fail, and this is the case with this, the Fiaci RS30 Reflex Sight. Now, Fiaci does not pay me for this. They have not sent me a free product in the least. Uh, they haven't even reached out to me about anything, uh, which is amazing since I've done several reviews for their products. I hadn't heard from them. But in any case, um, I have to tell you guys that this product, after about three trips to the range, has started to fail on one of my rifles. Now, it's not this specific one. This is one that I had. I had two of them. And this one is the one that um, I just had can't, uh, tucked away. The other one is, I think, on a shelf probably in the garage somewhere that I tuck off the rifle and I put a red dot on it. The Fiaci red dots are still holding up wonderfully. Now, this was on my 300 Blackout. It's a uh, 300 Blackout pistol with a 7-inch barrel. And that's what started to fail. What happened? It just stopped holding zero. Now, a lot of people, when they see this, well, did you tighten down the little screw? Yes, I know about the little screw. In my video, I talk about the little screw that you have to lock down to hold the zero. And it was working initially. Uh, the first few trips to the range, it was holding up. But what happened when I was set, when I was dialing in zero and I would go into my, uh, my, my rifle, I had it co-witnessed with the, I had the reticle co-witnessed with my iron sights. And what would, before I had a chance to lock down the set screw, I noticed it was drifting a little bit. I said, oh, I'm going to have to hold this thing really still. So I held it really still, locked the, uh, the, um, the little small locking screw in after I made my adjustments again. And, uh, after holding up, looking, moving the rifle around and looking back to see if it was still co-witnessed, it was not. It was off. Uh, to the left or to the right a little bit it was always off and it seemed to be drifting when we were at the range i noticed this problem we were firing it uh, and, and it was like we were all over the place with it i uh, had another guy come over and he uh took a try at it and he was having the same thing we would have it where we would have it zeroed and then after a round or two even just really moving the rifle the zero would be off again and so uh, it just, it just, whatever reason, it, I don't know if it was because of the recoil, it broke something loose, it just wasn't all able to hold zero anymore. It's that simple. I wish I had more information to tell you about why this couldn't hold zero anymore, but it couldn't. Now, again, this is, this, it's not this specific site, same uh, brand, but it wasn't this one. And uh, I don't know if it was a quality control issue or whatever, but it kind of goes to the old adage, uh, you get what you pay for. Not to say it's not worth a try, because again, uh, you might get one that works. I don't know, but um, but what I'm going to do personally is I'm going to probably invest in a little bit more, um, uh, a better uh, invest in a better site. I'm looking at the Sig Romero line of products, and um, I guess that's what they're called, the Sig Sour uh, Romero Five. I think that's what that's what I meant to say. So I'm going to look at one of those and um, probably get one of those on there. Uh, I just still can't justify paying for a um, EOTech or anything. Not to say I wouldn't like one. So if anybody has an EOTech that they're wanting to give away, hey, get at me because I'll gladly take it off your hands. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to just upgrade a little bit. Again, the Fiaci uh, Red Dots are still holding up. I had, like you said, we had two of them in the field uh, last weekend, and they were rocking and rolling without a problem, holding zero. That, so there you go with that. The, one of the only things I think people might complain about with the Fiaci Red Dot is that dot seems a little blurry at times, but what I read about that very issue is that m most dots will appear, uh, appear a little bit uh, appear a little bit blurry. So, um, that's it, guys. Well, I just wanted to let you know what was going on with it. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. I hope you appreciate the update. And uh, keep on watching. Stay tuned and live the dream.